Yeah. Cool, we take five. What's that? Cool, if we take five. Right now? We just started. Did you eat yet today? People who don't know me, I think it can put them off a little bit of like, what do you mean you're like a Drake super fan? Like, you know what? I think being a super fan means you believe in that person more than anyone else. And I just, at the end of my day, I just believe in Drake. Probably was about sophomore year of high school, so I think about 2011 was when I really first met the Six God, and our relationship's really blossomed ever since. The song that really started for me was Best I Ever Had. I was seeing a girl at the time, and we both kind of heard that song, and it really, I think, spoke to a lot of the themes of things that we were feeling, of finding true love for the first time. I really started saying, okay, like, this isn't just a, I like this artist, this is something for better and worse more than that. I mean, we've always known Drake because he was on TV, so we knew who that was. But he's like evolved into a different artist, I guess I would say. Another aspect of his life has come out and really speaks to Connor. Connor likes that he really sings from his heart. There's joyous stuff, and then there's stuff that gets you through hard times, and he sings his truth. Weekend one, Coachella 2015. Drove all overnight, didn't have tickets, didn't have a place to stay. Eventually we found wristbands, scalped them off of someone, and went to the show. And as Drake's about to come on, all of my friends go, oh, we're tired, we're gonna go back to the tent. And I'm like, you can't leave me now. Like, this is the guy I came to see. And so it ended up being me and 100,000 of my closest woes. And it kind of felt like this, this unofficial brotherhood. I had like the best day of my life, thanks to this one Canadian dude. I don't know, just started growing that affinity for him. This shirt is a was like actually a normal design shirt and then accidentally shrunk it in the wash. And so went on YouTube and just looked up like how to sew a pillow and kind of took it from there. Um, the nice wood trim, I feel like Aubrey would appreciate that. Providence is your favorite little weird city. It has so much, I think, that makes it unique. A very, very vibrant art culture. And so you never really know what you're gonna find when you walk down the street in Providence. This is definitely my first tattoo. There's nothing more fitting to start with than this. The rock and the hard place that I'm stuck between right now is whether to go with the OVO owl uh, or to get Drake's face. When I think in my head of like, what this tattoo should be, right? If I think of it, it's the face. But if you mess up a face, it's a lot more noticeable than messing up an owl. You know, it's just one of those things you gotta think about. I have some paperwork over there on top of the counter. You got it. Cute straight man, huh? Oh yeah. That's awesome. That's the whole point of this. I mean, placement looks great. All right, my friend. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, my first tattoo when I was, I just turned 18, had to do with the Grateful Dead. Nice. Now I'm 48, I don't even listen to the Grateful <laughs> Dead anymore. No matter what, tattoos are a great diary. Um, whether you change musical tastes, aspirations, directions in life, it doesn't matter. It lets you know where you were at one time. Looking. Nice. It's kind of classy. Kind of. Yeah. Did it hurt? It, no, actually it didn't hurt that bad. Good. Yeah, it was just a weird feeling, but it didn't hurt. Yeah. And I'm better for it. Yeah, I'm sure. It's closer to your heart now. It's deep. <laughs> you see, most people in my position, they get complacent and they want to come places with star girls that end up on them front pages. But it's routing out with a ride with it. The moment I stop having fun with it, I'll just be done with it. Drake raised me in a lot of ways. He's kind of been that one constant, that one North Star of no matter what I'm going through, there's a Drake song and I find solace in that. I find peace in that. Mm -hmm.